And welcome back YouTube, this is Booster Buster here with another video. Today I'm here to share with you another comic book haul video from online purchases that I've done. And I hope you like the indies because today is all about the independent comic books. From companies such as Xenoscope, Counterpoint, and Mount Olympus, I got a nice little stack of comics to share with you. And please make sure to stay to the end because I got a beauty of a graded comic book that I want to share with you. First up, from Counterpoint, we have their flagship franchise, Naughty and Nice, the Menage a Trois series, issue number one, Naughty Variant. Of course, I had to do some censoring because this is the Naughty version. Pretty much just imagine that she is topless underneath that piece of paper. And I gotta say, while it is a pretty cool looking title, very uh, Metroid-esque, I'm kind of disappointed because the topless here doesn't make a lot of sense because it's open air, like it's not a see-through part of the outfit, it's like, it's like ripped open. So, being that she's in a suit, she's not gonna last much longer. Uh, with that suit being opened, it's she's prob she's going to be turned to space. Uh, she's going to be frozen in space pretty soon. And I gotta say, uh, I do really like the uh, little aliens, though. They kind of remind me of the Martians from the claw machine out of Toy Story 1. I do find them pretty cute. And while this isn't my favorite variant of the Naughty and Nice Menage a Trois issues... Uh, I did want to share this one with you because I am trying to collect a lot of the uh, issue one of the Major 12 variants. And this one just happened to be for a good price. Yeah, that is Naughty and Nice and Major 12, number one. Up next, from the Mount Olympus comics, we got. This really lovely Cowgirl Samurai of Oz comic variant. And then from Samurai of Oz again, I picked up this incredible homage to Vampire Hunter D. I absolutely love this particular comic uh, variant. It is so cool. Vampire Hunter D is such an iconic series. I just had to pick this up. It looks fantastic. I gotta say, um, Mount Olympus does a great job with their variants. However, the prices can get a little bit out of hand because they make like 50 of each variant and then it's done. So, prices can get out of hand. I got those two for pretty dang good prices. Some of their prices are like $200 on the secondary market, which is way too much money for a comic book printed in the last two or three years. Alright, so the next one I have is one I'm super excited to add to my collection. It is a true, truly lovely piece of work and art. And that is the Robin Hood Issue 1 C.S. Moore Variant. Truly lovely piece of art here. And proof we got the Certificate of Authenticity right on the back here. Now I do have to rebag and board this because as you can hear, it's that crunkly, or crunkly, that's not even a word. Crinkly, loud sounding plastic that, you know, I'm sure it's not good for the comic book over time. And then the next one I have to share, share with you here 
is another Robin Hood issue variant. This one is from Comic Con, New York Comic Con. And I believe it's limited to 500. Looks like she's taken a little bit of a shower. I had to say a very lovely variant. Up next, from the Grim Fairy Tales Bad Girl, issue 4, we got the Secret Retailer exclusive. And I got this for a stellar deal. I was very happy with the price I got for this one. And then we got ourselves, from the Bad Girls, issue number two, a Kamikaze exclusive, convention exclusive. And this is a really cool one, too. You got the Hollywood Hills in the background, a nice pool there. She's all, like, ninjaed up, ready for a fight. But at the same time, in a very relaxed, playful mood. And I like that. And I always have a thing for green hair. I think it's pretty cool. And now we got ourselves Robin Hood The Curse, issue number one, New Year's Eve exclusive, limited to 350 copies worldwide. Pretty cool, you got the giant champagne glasses. The Christmas tree. So this is a very nice uh, holiday festive cover here. They do have one where she's in a gold outfit that is very limited. I think it's like limited to 75. That's very hard to get. I'm going to save that one because that one is a prize kind of. I'm very happy to have this one. Did I share this one? I don't remember if I shared this one already, but if not... Here we go. We got ourselves Grim Fairy Tales, No Tomorrow, Alamo City Comic Con Exclusive, issue number three. I absolutely love this one. I love the cowgirl look that it has to it. Kind of pairs very well with the uh, comic book I showed you earlier. The uh, Samurai of Oz one. I always have a thing for Sice, and I absolutely love this particular one. It's like a female modern day Grim Reaper, and I love this. This is Xenoscope No Tomorrow issue number, was it one? One. Variant C. So this is not a limited edition. This is just a really dang cool cover. I love it. No Tomorrow, issue number four, cover A. A little bit more of a, uh, you know, regular cover, not a whole lot of special going on here. No Tomorrow, issue number three, cover A. This one I like quite a bit. It, it's just like the aura of the Grim Reaper is enough to kill all these innocent uh, animals around her. And I love the, uh, the like, Zen garden in the background. That's pretty cool, too. This is uh, No Tomorrow, issue number two. Variant number B. Almost like a fire starter. I like that quite a bit. And 
And this is No Tomorrow, issue number two, cover A. The foreshadowing. That's her business card. You got her in the background with her true form. Very cool. Alright, so this next one, I am very, very happy to own because it is limited to 50 worldwide. And it is a very rare comic variant. Robin Hood issue number one. A Xenoscope exclusive. I think it was only available at their shop. And they only had 50 ever made in the entire world. We got this beauty of a cover right here. I absolutely love this. This is beautiful. It's like she went to take a break, sat down, maybe took a dip in the uh, water behind there. She came out and then all of a sudden she's maybe hearing some sort of disturbance. Very lovely cover. I absolutely love this. And now, time for the main event. Well, I do have one more comic, but there's no way I could show you that. I mean, no way. We reached... The Graded Comic. Here it is. All right, now I'm good. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. That is the graded comic book. We got Hook from the Grim Fairy Tale series, part of the uh, Neverland uh, Peter Pan arc. C.S. Moore, Naughty Edition, limited to 100 worldwide. This is issue number three. Wait, three or four? Four, sorry, four. And it's like a grown-up Tinkerbell. I absolutely love it. It is a beauty of a comic. Sorry if there's a lot of rattling. I'm trying to uh, not do an accidental face reveal here. And it is graded a 9.9. .9. That is a beauty from CGC. 9.9 .9 from CGC. That is unheard of. Well, not unheard of, but... Very rare to get anything above a 9.8 from CGC. And I got this comic for a really good price. At least in my opinion, it's a good price. Unfortunately, the uh, Hook series is not very sought after. So uh, the comic itself is uh, kind of inexpensive if you just want a regular version. However, this one limited to 100 worldwide CS More Naughty Edition... It's absolutely beautiful, and I am very happy to add it to my collection. Okay. Take this thing off. So with that being said, that is all I have to share with you for comic books today. I gotta say, very, very happy to have added what I did to my collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what your favorite comic is down below from this particular video. And uh, yeah, I'm also thinking about potentially doing comic book reviews, like, you know, reading the comic and giving my thoughts and opinion on some of these. However, I don't know if there's enough desire out there to see me actually grade, or not grade, but review comic books, especially ones that are like 
10 years old. I don't know if there's any any interest in that. Because I'd love to to uh, give reviews on like Robin Hood and everything, but I don't know if anybody wants to hear it. With that being said, just let me know your opinions down below. If you'd like to see future videos in this series, and as always, I'm Booster Max Buster. Please hit that like and subscribe button, it helps out the channel a lot. Check out a past video if you want to see some of my other comic book collections and pickups or booster box openings, go ahead and check them out, that'd be great. And hit that subscribe button. I think I already said that. I'm repeating myself at this point. Well, anyway, I'm Boosterbox Buster and I'm signing out. Peace.